Cows based by Coma International is a world leader in the design and manufacture of oil and chemical pollution control systems. Despite the current recession, Vicoma are planning to expand. Mike, Vicoma is a manufacturing company. You know, how difficult has it been working through a credit crunch and the, and the recession? Oh, well, it has affected us, there's no doubt about it. I think orders have been a little bit slower, but actually we've had a pretty good half year and our, the next half of our year is looking extremely good uh, and hence for our expansion plans. Well, the drivers for an expansion of the company is that we can either stand still and stagnate or we can, we can evolve the business through developing new products, new marketplaces. Uh, we've got a skills base here that allows us to do that and we're quite happy to invest in Vicoma and the other members of the group in order to do it. So how do you go about developing new products and solutions for your customers? You know, where do you start? Uh, you start with an idea. Uh, I'm, I'm Bob Rooney who's, who's my uh, partner in this and, and myself will take no uh, credit for the idea. It didn't come from us. Uh, we had the uh, perhaps the vision to see that it could be a, a positive um, product development. Uh, but the ideas are coming up all the time. I was just picking which are the best ones. Now, Vicoma is known for you know, pollution control, but you, you've got a new product coming to market. Tell me about that. Well, yeah, Vicoma is known for pollution control, but the group itself is, is in the oil industry. Uh, we have a, a screw conveyor company in Aberdeen that directly services the oil industry worldwide. Vicoma, as you know, deals with the oil industry worldwide. We developed a new product that was going to do drill cuttings in the oil industry. One of the, uh, the byproducts of our testing program is that we found it was able to do other products and feedstocks as well. The most interesting and exciting of that is the biocoal. Um, the industry in the UK, in power generation, needs to be producing biomass fuel. Uh, our product enhances the biomass as it is now, dries it, increases the calorific value, and is ideal for power coal fired in a power generation uh, scenario. And is it a unique product? Does it have you know huge opportunity? The, the product is patented. It is unique. It's the only continuous microwave processor in the world. Uh, we've done what nobody else has done uh, anywhere. We're able to do that because of the, uh, the skills base that we have and the technology that we've developed. So how does Rotowave work? Well, what it does, it, it uh, operates on the uh, infrared and microwave spectrum. Uh, heat and waste products to produce products that have value. Uh, in the drilling industry, the uh, drilling muds are contaminated with oil. It separates the oil, it, it drives off the water, separates both, you can reuse the oil, and the shale that's left can be put straight over the, the, uh, the rig wall into the depths, uh, rather than bringing it along shore and, along shore and then incinerating it. In the uh, bio-coal industry, we take waste wood, we enhance its calorific value, it can be uh, micronized to the same size as coal, has the same calorific value as coal, and is able to use all of the mechanical handling systems of a power generation system that coal does. So it really is creating value out of, uh, out of rubbish, effectively? Out of waste, yeah, yeah absolutely. And how long have you been developing that? Uh, four and a half years we've spent in developing it from uh, a desktop model to a, a third of a scale, and then to a half scale, and now a full uh, prototype plant. Um, how has the increasing concern about the environment um, in the last few years helped you grow the business? Well, without doubt, people are becoming greener and more aware of the environmental responsibilities that we all have. Um, in drill cuttings and in, in biocoal, we are making a, a positive contribution to the reduction of CO2 and emissions. Uh, everybody, even the big BP and oil companies, all have now have a green balance sheet and we're helping to uh, put that balance sheet in a positive way. So you've just received two large orders from Japan, you know, how important are those to your expansion plans? Well they're important in as much as you know, getting new orders in all the time is important, that's what we're here for, um, but they're not directly related to our expansion, that was planned uh, some years ago. Um, we're hoping to move in over the Christmas period, first, uh, first sort of quarter of next year, um, and it's good to get those orders. I think the, the important thing about the Japanese orders um, is that uh, in the times of recession, people want value for money. And, and it's a testament to the quality of the equipment, and I think that's the key point about those. You're a world leader in the design and manufacturing of equipment for oil spill and pollution control. How have you achieved that position from a base on the Isle of Wight? Uh, well, relatively easy, really. I mean, there are some disadvantages. There are obviously some increased costs, obviously, on the freight side. Uh, there's no disadvantage in terms of how we react to a global marketplace. I mean, not, about 95% of what we do goes overseas uh, to governments and oil majors, etc., etc. 
Um, the benefits here, frankly, is the skill base. There's no doubt about that. We've been here for something 30, 40 years, um, and we've been the world leader all that time, and we're looking to actually increase our market share even further. Um, but we're known for the quality and the innovation of the product, and certainly the reliability of the product. And that's the key testament. It's the, the people here who've been working here on our products for 20, 30, 40 years, uh, we have that reputation out in the marketplace. And it, so it's about the people and, and partly about the place. One of the things that Bob and I did, and we both uh, worked at Bicoma before we bought it. Uh, one of the key things we, that we did is uh, keep the people that we've got. The people are excellent, they're committed, they're skilled, uh, and they are, really are our best asset. We do in-house training, we've done that for many years. Uh, we have our in-house apprentices, we have four at the moment, we're looking to recruit another couple uh, because that's important for us, for succession planning. So we do a lot of in-house training, and there's a lot of knowledge in this, uh, in this company about the oil spool business. So you sell worldwide, how do you go about selling to the world market? Um, there's two basic routes. We do sell direct, as I was saying, to about the oil majors, governments, um, ports and harbours authorities and also through a network of agents and representatives around the world, probably active in 120 plus countries, I would think. There's been an assumption that manufacturing is dead in the UK. What's your reaction to that? Uh, well, clearly we would say no. Um, obviously, there has been a move in the past to, to uh, uh, go more to a service industry. My view is very, very simple. You have to be making something to be able to service it. We are and have and always will be a design and manufacturing company. That's, that's a, a key part of our ethos. We're not put off by the recession. Again, um, we have quality products that are not price sensitive. We are operating markets all over the world where our quality reliability is, is more to the fore than anywhere else. Uh, our new product is in a niche market uh, and we're able to develop that product to the satisfaction of all of our customers. If somebody asked you for advice on starting a manufacturing business in these recessionary times, what would you say? Uh, be very sure of your marketplace. Um, be very sure of your cost base, uh, that's certainly a thing. Um, you, you also have to have the financial support to be able to do that as well. And clearly with a manufacturing base you have a lot of upfront costs uh, before you get your, your revenues in. Um, so you have to be just very sure of the marketplace and your product that you're going into. Know your marketplace. Uh, know your marketplace, try to get a niche in that market. Know your product and know your people. Now obviously the recession's not going to last forever. Are you excited by the future? I think we can make a difference to the Isle of Wight. I think we can make a difference to the environment globally. And I'm sure that we can uh, make a difference on the positive side again, yeah? Yeah, I mean, our next six months, our prospects for the next six months, uh, uh, hopefully we're going to overachieve over our targets, which is very important to us, clearly. Um, the prospects for us uh, in our core business of oil spill are very good, not just in the next six months, but obviously next year. And the introduction of new technology as well uh, for the group um, it, it, you know, life is going to be good in Vicoma.